Lawmakers introduced a bill today to increase the minimum wage for people who work in health care facilities. The proposal calls for raising their minimum wage to $25 an hour. This isn't the first attempt, and as our political reporter Morgan Reiner tells us, it covers everyone from janitors to security guards. The California Hospital Association told me that if this measure passes, it'll only hurt the hospital system, which is already in financial distress. Those in favor of the bill say it will only help. Raymond Meyer is a cook at a residential care facility. Nutrition is definitely still part of patient care. Beyond nutrition, he said food comforts the patients. One patient was feeling down and the family told Raymond his potato leek soup would lift her spirits. I made a special batch just for her. I came in the next day and her family came up and gave me a big hug and said she passed. They said that was the last smile they saw on her face. It's stories like that that keep him at the care facility, even though it means he can't care for himself. I work my eight hours and then I go drive Lyft for six hours. It's hard to get the proper rest, get the proper care I need for myself. It's why Senator Maria Elena Durazo is introducing a $25 minimum wage for all health care workers. We know that California is facing a patient care crisis because we don't have enough health care workers like you looking out for Californians. She said people of color and women make up the majority of the low wage health care workforce. It's not acceptable to build a health care system on the backs of underpaid. But this bill faces strong opposition from the health care industry. The California Hospital Association said this crisis is not theoretical. In a statement, they said California's health care system is on the edge of a cliff. One hospital in the Central Valley has already closed this year, several others on the verge of shutting their doors, and dozens have had to reduce services just to keep doors open. Any proposal that would further threaten hospitals' ability to care for patients will only mean more uncertainty and diminished care for patients in every community in California. Kaiser Health News reports that if this does pass, there are 1.5 million Californians who would be eligible for that rate increase come January 1st, 2024.